Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix a device which does not exist was specified error in your Windows machine. The error, a device which does not exist was specified in Windows, usually happens when Windows loses access to a physical device such as hard disk, SSD, USB device or a partition due to connection, permission, or a driver issues. Here are some of the common issues. It could be related to an improper connections, missing permissions, mismatched or a missing device or a drive letter, outdated drivers, bad sectors or faulty motherboard header or physical damage. Now here are step-by-step -step instructions which you could follow to resolve this issue. Now the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and check the connection. Ensure all cables, connectors and ports are secure. Try replacing any damaged cables or moving to another USB or a different port. And once this is done, try to restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good. You don't need to try the next step. Now the next step is to go ahead and uninstall and reconnect the drive. To do this, you will have to open the device manager. You can do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. Once you're on the device manager, you will have to go ahead and expand the disk drive. Now here you will have to locate the problematic disk drive. In my case, the current one, what you're seeing is a default C drive. It could be a different in your case. You might see a letter C or H or a red cross or a grayed out option. All you have to do is you will have to do a right click and then click on uninstall device. Follow the step by step instructions to uninstall the device from the device manager. Once this is done, you can close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step is to go ahead and assign or change the drive letter. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on disk management. Once you have the disk management open on your computer, you will have to go ahead and locate the faulty device. In my case, I don't have a faulty device. So I'll give this as an example here, C drive. All you have to do is you will have to select the faulty device. In my case, I'm taking C drive as a faulty device do a right click and then click on change drive letter and paths once you're on this you will have to select the drive the one in your case it could be an h d or e click on change and then choose the drive letter in case if you have h go ahead and choose the drive letter other than what you had here click on ok close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you are still facing a problem, the next step is to go ahead and scan for the bad sectors on your computer. To do this, you will have to open command prompt. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type CMD, or in the search window, you can go ahead and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to go to the command prompt and type the command chkdsk and hit enter. This is the command which will go ahead and execute to see if there are any back sectors on the computer now this will take about uh, 15 to 30 minutes depending on the amount of data what you have on the computer once the check disk is complete with all the stages you may close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved so all this step should definitely fix the problem in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that you can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.